Hello, welcome in my little organ music corner on YouTube. It's a very special day to me. What do I say? A very, very special day. Because this morning my new Halper console has arrived. So it's time to say goodbye to my old organ, to my old Viscount Domes organ. That served me very well for, I think, uh, uh, two years now. Um, it's still in excellent uh, state. So if you are interested, it's for sale. Uh, let me know. Uh, but for me, it's time to go on. Uh, literally, um, I go to a new organ room, a freshly built room. We have built it on top of our uh, house. So I'm really now an organist on the roof and a uh, new room, new console. So I switch cameras and then we take a look to the new console. And here we go, here is my new Hauper console, my custom built Hauper console made by the Dutch firm Mixture. Uh, I've chosen for a modern design, I wanted a modern design but with warm materials. So um, the organ is made from massive oak, so it's very heavy, but I like the, um, the color. Um, as you can see, I've chosen for a free manual. Um, hesitated about four, but it was far more expensive and I think my brain isn't big enough for four. So three is, uh, is enough for me. Um, I've chosen for the regular Fatah uh, um, plastic uh, keyboards because they play very nice. And I don't like the, the wooden ones. They are far, far more expensive. And um, I, I don't like the looks of them and as you know, I sometimes like to play the theater organ and playing a theater organ with brown Baroque keys doesn't look nice. And I love to play with color of lights for my recording and um, the uh, lights reflect very nice on the white keys, as you uh, can imagine. So that are the, that are the, the um, oh, uh, before I go, go on, um, excuse me for my nether English, of course. I'm a native Dutch speaking guy, so probably I make a lot of errors in my English talking. So um, sorry for that um, before. Um, let's go on to the, to, the, to the manuals. As you can see, there are a few and thumb pistons underneath the lowest keyboard, um, general cancel and uh, uh, numbers and you can program them uh, uh, on the way you want. Um, I have uh, put especially uh, um, um, sequencer buttons underneath all um, keyboards because I love to use them um, and they are connected with two uh, foot pistons uh, here down under. They can be uncoupled, so then I can have four separate uh, uh, sequencers. Um, and of course, uh, this also can be uncoupled. Um, but I think most of the time you eyelet them and uncoupled. Um, yeah, the, the, the stand is also massive wood, it can be removed, but uh, um, I like to read my music so. Um, it don't, uh, has to be removed. You can see two swell pedals um, down there. A uh, 30, uh, um, uh, 30 keys uh, pedal, pedal board. Um, I've chosen to, um, to let them have all the same colors, so no black um, there. Um, yeah, I, uh, um, and next to the keyboards there is room for speakers. But I've managed to stow my great speakers um, underneath the organ, so uh, they don't bother me. Uh, the sound is a bit more mellow um, because sound is not coming directly to your ears, and I like that. So um, I've tuned them already, uh, uh, and they sound uh, great. However, most of the time I use my headphones as you. Uh, can clearly see in all of my recordings. Yeah, I've bought an adjustable bench. Um, that was pretty expensive compared to uh, a, a regular bench. 
um, but sometimes I like to sit uh, a bit higher and sometimes a bit lower, especially if I have to play a lot of pedals, um, then I prefer to sit um, lower. And um, now I can manage that with an adjustable bench. Um, it's a big bench, very wide, so um, playing duets will be no problem if uh, anyone <laughs> wants to come over here to play a duet. Um, as you can see, I use my Motu um, M4 um, sound card to connect all sounds together, and my big PC is, uh, is there in the corner. Um, and this is, of course, my touch screen that um, um, fits perfectly at the desk at the left side. Now, then, does it sound better than the old one? Uh, and the answer of that is no. Because this is just a console. It does nothing. Um, the sound is coming from the computer, from the processing computer. Um, so, the intelligence is not this, this is just to play, the intelligence is over here. So, sometimes you see people playing uh, um, work on incredible big consoles uh, that cost uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 1000 euro. Um, does they play better than this one? No. Do they play better than a simple Jamaa keyboard with MIDI? No, because all intelligence is in the software, Hauperk, I use Hauperk 7, and not in the machine. So the sound is exactly the same um, in this one, um, or my old one, or any other console. But there, of course, there's a difference, because this machine plays um, much more easier. The pedals are, uh, uh, um, are very nice, are new, um, smooth. The uh, manuals are playing smooth. Uh, for the first time I have uh, uh, three manuals. So um, that, that uh, um, for me I can, uh, uh, that takes much less management. Um, so I can be focused uh, better on, on playing music. So uh, this is it. Um, the room is not ready yet. Um, I can uh, show you the room. Um, we have to uh, uh, to make curtains over over here. There's here a, a, a bin um, that uh, hasn't have doors. They are coming. And at this uh, corner, there's my editing uh, room. Um, there is uh, a bed sheet hanging in front of the window because that's the sun side and our screens are coming in, uh, in two weeks. We have heating and uh, air conditioning so uh, it's a nice, uh, nice place uh, to work and to edit um, and to play of course. So to finish uh, this small, uh, uh, um, small introduction for my new Hauper console I shall play a, a piece for you and um, of course um, in the coming days, weeks, uh, months, uh, you are going to see a lot of this for me new important machine in my house. The first piece I'm going to play, record and publish with my new helper console is Cloister's Contemplation from the American composer Phil Eenbauer. I love all his works and this one in particular. I have a busy day job where I sometimes have to make difficult decisions about the future of people. Um, and music like this keeps me sane and tranquil. Um, so the name um, Cloister's Contemplation is a, a very nice fit to that. And that's the reason why I dedicate my first recording to my friend, organist and doctor Jerry Martin. He's a doctor. He has to make difficult decisions about the future of people every day, much more uh, than I have to do. And um, I wish him um, a bit of tranquility. Um, and at least I can give him four minutes of tranquility. So here we go, 
Jerry is wonderful.